Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys about a plugin that allows you to specify different locations around your map where you can allow your players to warp to real quick if you so chose. So stay tuned. Today we're talking about warp system. Hey guys, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy where I teach you guys all of the tips and tricks to owning and operating your own successful Rust server. Like I said in the intro, I'm going to show you guys how you can set up different warp locations around your map so that your players can type in a command and it will warp them directly to that location. So this is the plugin that you're looking at on the screen. It's called Warp System and it's available from the UMOD website. I'm going to put a link to it in the video description down below, like I always do. I'm going to go ahead and install this plugin. If you guys have never seen how to install a plugin, be sure to check the video in the top right hand corner. It'll take you to a video that shows you exactly how to install a UMOD plugin and what to expect while you're doing that. But make sure you come back to this video so you can finish up with Warp System. Okay, so now that we have the plugin successfully installed, there's one thing that we have to deal with before we can actually play with this plugin, and that is assigning the permission. So the only permission that we have to deal with so that we can actually use this plugin is warpsystem.admin. So I'm gonna show you two different ways to apply the permission. I'm sure you guys have all seen it before, but I'm gonna show you guys again anyways. If we want to apply the permission using our server console, you just simply type in grant group admin warpsystem.admin, or whatever group it is that you want to be able to control this plugin. The other way to apply the permission is to actually use the permissions GUI in game, which I prefer. I think that everyone else should be doing it this way as well. Uh, it just makes it so much easier. It gives you a visual indicator of what's going on. So all we gotta do is go into warp system and we want to grant the permission to the group admin for warp system. And that's it, that's all we have to do. This is funny, I popped in here to start recording this video and somebody is actually playing on my test server. Like this is their legit base. If you're a viewer and you're seeing this and that's the only reason why you're in this uh, server, uh, kudos, power to you, man. That's, uh, that's awesome. I did not expect to see an actual legit base on my test server, but oh, that's cool. All right, we're gonna go away. All right, so there's about 10 or 11 or so different commands that we can use with this plugin. I'm just gonna go over a couple of them. It's the ones that you're gonna use kind of on a regular basis while you're setting up your different warps. And then once you're done, uh, you'll probably never deal with any of these commands again, but let's go through them real quick. So this is the first one that we're gonna go over, which is warp add. And then this is what the syntax of what it needs to look like while you're putting in this warp. So warp add, and then whatever name we want, the warp timer, the warp range, the, the number of uses, and which group is allowed to use this plugin. So I know that looks really complicated, but I'm gonna simple this down for you. So let's delete that. So we're gonna do warp add, and we're gonna do outpost. So the first number is how many seconds do you want it to count down before it actually takes them to that location? So similar to end teleportation, this is just the countdown timer before the actual warp happens. For testing purposes, we're just gonna put this at five seconds because it's only gonna be me that's gonna be using this. The second digit that you're gonna put into your line is how close to the actual center of the warp location do you want your players to be? If you want it to be right on that specific location, you want to leave this number at, or put this number at zero. If you want to create a range around that point where they might warp to, then you can increase that number depending on how far away from that specific center point you want them to be. In most cases, you're going to leave that at zero. The next number is how many times you want your player to be able to use this warp location and this is per wipe cycle. So if you only want people to be able to warp to the outpost like 10 times per wipe, you would put this number at 10. If you want it to be unlimited, you would leave this number at zero, but the zero has to be there. The next parameter that we need to put in there is which group do we want to be able to take advantage of having this warp location? If you want everyone, absolutely everyone in your server to be able to use this location, you would put all there. So what that does is it makes it so that all groups have access to this warp location. If you only want your admins or moderators to be able to warp to this location, you would change that group permission to admin. So only the people that are in the group admin will be able to use this this warp location. So because this is a test server and I don't really care what happens on it, I'm going to make it so that everyone can use these different warp locations and I'm going to do like two or three more. So once we have all of the parameters in there that, we're, that we want and we're happy with it, we just hit enter and it says warp system added with the warp name outpost. And I'm going to go over that in a second why that's important. So I'm going to go to my next location real quick and set up another warp. 
As you can see, I'm right on top of the dome and I'm gonna add a warp location up here called dome. And it's gonna have a five second countdown timer, a warp range of zero and unlimited uses. So that number's at zero. And I'm also allowing all user groups to be able to use this warp. All right, warp added with the warp name dome. Let's go do our next one. All right, so here I am at the stone quarry and we're gonna do the exact same process again. Warp adds stones, five second countdown timer, blah, 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 blah. All user groups are allowed to use this. Now we have the warp location called stones. All right, so that's enough examples to show you how this syntax of it works. So let's say we wanted to see the list of all the different warps that we've now created on our server. Well, we can do slash warp list and it will bring up all of the different warp numbers with their locations, which user groups can use it. It's listed there as permission, but you get the idea. It tells you how many uses you have left. So you can put that command in like a, a chat advertiser or something like that, somewhere where you can let your players know that they can type slash warp list, and it will show them all of the different warp locations that are available on your server. So the other command that I wanted to show you is how to remove a warp, just a singular warp. Let's say you made a mistake or you decided that you didn't want to use it that way or whatever. You want to get rid of that warp for whatever reason. You just do slash warp remove and then the name of the warp. And yes, your capitalization does matter. So make sure you're not putting a capital S on stones if there isn't one when you actually set it up in the first place. All right, so you've removed the warp stones. We can do slash warp all outpost. That will literally take every every player on your server and warp them all to the same location at the outpost. Um, if you wanna talk about causing some chaos, you can definitely do that and it's quite funny. Like I promised in a previous video, I was gonna start showing you guys whenever a, a plugin creates a data file that needs to be wiped out or should be wiped out every time you wipe your server. Well, warp system is one of those plugins. So if you go into your data folder, you'll see this file called warp system in your data folder. When you want to quickly erase all of the warps that have been set up for your server during that wipe period, you can just delete that file and all of your warp locations will be deleted. You will wanna do this when your server is offline or when the plugin is unloaded. So if we just wanted to do this real quick, I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like. We can do o.unload warp system that will unload the plugin from the server. Then we can actually go in and delete the file called warp system from our data folder and then reload the plugin, o.reload warp system. So that will reload the plugin. It's gonna recreate the warp system data file that we just deleted. However, there's gonna be no information in it. There you go. No information in this data file. And of course, if we go back to gameplay and we type warp list, it's gonna show no current warps. So that's what you wanna do if you ever want to completely wipe out all of the warps that you've put into your server. All right, that's it for Warp System. I hope I was able to help you learn something. Maybe you'll get some new ideas for things that you can do on your server. If you found the video helpful, make sure you smash that like button for me. And if you wanna see more content just like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notification bells. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next.